Hello guys, this is Sarah Torrells and welcome to the last part of Signal 4D Beginner Guide. I'm really glad that it's over. Um, mainly I don't regret doing this because there's plenty of people that were asking me uh, really like uh, questions that beginners would usually ask and I could, I, I'm not able to answer them just in you know written form so I had to do this guide and hopefully people who are beginners in this program learn something from this so this is the last part and today we're going to be talking about uh, rendering settings so basically we're done with our intro everything's set you're ready now go to rendering settings and we've we've already talked about ambient occlusion and global illumination that was in the lighting part but if you need a reminder how to get these ambient occlusion and global illumination to get them uh, you go to effect and then ambient occlusion should be somewhere here and global illumination should be here too but since I'm using it it's not in the list so yeah and also there's stereoscopic 3d but you know I'm not gonna go into that because that's not for beginners so <laughs> to render an intro uh, first of all you'll have to go to output that's where you set your HD settings so uh, the standard YouTube uh, video setting is 1280 by 720 so width is 1280 height 720 let's type that in 1280 then 720 okay uh, resolution it should set uh, automatically to 72 film aspect point 1.778 again it should set it uh, automatically and frame rate would be like standard 30 uh, I'd suggest not changing it unless you need like some slow motion you'll you'll be making an intro then you'll be li later on uh, making a slow motion footage out of it then you would increase the frames to the uh, also you can decrease the frames and that's uh, if you want it to render faster and you don't want to spend so much time on it but I would not suggest you touching this at all because some formats will mess uh, will get messed up some formats don't support more than 30 or less than 30 so I suggest leave it alone okay then frame range you can select current frame that's if you're uh, rendering a image if you want to create a picture you can also select all frames so that's just from frame 0 to frame whatever you set it to right here but you know, of course you can uh, set it to whatever you want in this menu here so yeah there's another one that's manual anyways uh, let's go to save so we're at save tab here uh, so here you select the location where you want to save your uh, intro or video so again click on this button here with the three dots and uh, just select wherever you want to save it scroll down if you want to save it to another folder or scroll up if it doesn't show desktop I usually save it to desktop so just click on the desktop or right here click on desktop then just name your file just uh, beginner guide and yeah click save then you want to choose the format uh, I usually use AVI movie or QuickTime movie if you want to uh, render an image use JPEG if you want to render an image without the background you use PNG and I will get into that a little bit later but for now we'll just select uh, QuickTime movie so go to options here beside QuickTime movie and here compression type animation that's what I usually use 
but if you want it to edit well in Sony Vegas use MPEG 4 video because that's how it's gonna because if you use animation then it's not gonna uh, Sony Vegas Pro 9 will not sometimes will not uh, accept the video format so everything the same 30 frame rates then quality put it to best depth best depth and then ok so I suggest using QuickTime Movie if you don't have this uh, player type you should download it it's at apple.com and it is the best uh, for quality AVI movie it messes up the uh, color so you get like instead of gradient colors you get like lines that transition I don't really like that so uh, yeah I'd suggest using QuickTime movie and there's some options here anti-aliasing if you want the quality to be really good you just put it to uh, anti-aliasing to best that's for shadows the edges of the shadows will be really smooth it doesn't matter in most cases unless you want something really good and here options I'd usually reduce uh, ray depth to 6 and shadow depth to 6 I'd usually do that it doesn't make much difference at all but it decreases the time of rendering by half so then there is uh, ambient occlusion global illumination go into global illumination go to iridan sketch and I've already went over this uh, you should put stochastic samples to low and record density to low uh, and yeah that, that also decreases the rendering time and it makes little difference to close to no difference so now we are ready to render uh, but I wanna mention again go to your render settings if you da if this is a uh, intro template that you downloaded from someone and then uh, for some reason when you wanna render it uh, it doesn't work it's, it says uh, output path error or something like that something close to that when you try to render uh, it's usually the problem with uh, the save so if you go to the save tab here and if you do, if you downloaded a template and if the person that made the template saved it to their desktop or to their uh, whatever file it will show like this for example my admin name um, or my account name on this computer is Viper so uh, yeah you, you got uh, somebody else's uh, account here you have to change it to yours so again go to this uh, little button click on it and go to whatever file you want to save it to and go to and just uh, name the file and save so you'll have this overwritten to your account name if it's not your account name it will not work just saying just mentioning so you know because I have a lot of people asking me why doesn't uh, does it show output path error and it's really easy to solve and they don't know what's wrong so uh, yeah let's render this just click this button in the middle if you did if you missed it I'll just stop this if you miss this right here this is the render settings this is the render like final render button so just click on it and it's gonna render okay I'm gonna pause this video I'm gonna be back with uh, show, showing you how to render pictures or uh, rendering transparent uh, tr transparent pictures with transparent backgrounds what I mean so be back up. Alright guys, I'm back and this is what we got for our intro. So it's not too bad. Uh anyways, I'm gonna show you how to create a picture with trans with a transparent background. So go back to uh, render settings and go to save tab and in the save tab uh, you have alpha channel option here so select that 
and then change the format to uh, PNG which is uh, basically the only format where you can create a picture that has a transparent background so you'll be able to see all the objects maybe even the floor I'm not sure about that uh, but you won't be able to see the uh, the background so once you've done that uh, what is it let me see here uh, once you have alpha channel yeah it's pretty much it uh, oh yeah no never mind you go to output and then uh, you change the frame range to current frame and then you just select here which frame so it will just render one frame okay uh, thank you guys for watching this beginner guide I hope you learned a thing or two uh, looking forward to creating some uh, tutorials in other programs, uh, some fun things. So yeah, please subscribe if you haven't and please like this video. It helps me a lot. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.